Before I start stitching it. This is the front of the body here and this is the back. And you'll see the V notches from the pattern. What I will be doing is stitching these V notches together. So I'll start stitching now and remember we have the stop lines. This we will leave open so that we can turn the bear right side out. So I'm pinning it together. Actually, I need to come in from the side. see I've stitched the V closed which is actually the dart and this is where the top of the head is and the shoulders. Now we're ready to pin the, the two sides together and again this will be the front. What I do is I start pinning it at the top where I've notched the head. We're just going to keep pinning and sewing this body the way we did the arms and the legs, tucking in the fur and leaving the back opening. We now have the two body sections pinned together and I'm going to start sewing. What you'll notice as I'm sewing that I kind of have to work the fur in to the machine because it doesn't always sew or um, pin together very straight so you'll see me tugging and working with it. As you can see, we finished sewing the body and left the opening. And what I want to talk about now is the top of the body where the head is going to connect to the body. And what I did was I did a back tack on both sides of these darts. And what that has done is created a hole in here where the bolt will be going from the head into the body. And I always check to make sure that the bolt is going to fit in there before I turn it right side out. If I need to take out more stitches, then I can do so at this time. And again, the, fair, the hair, the fur hangs up. Okay, we see that the bolt does fit through here. So what I'm going to do next is turn the body right side out. I might have to make a few clips here in order for it to turn out. 
I'm going to make a few clips in here on the stress points before I turn it right side out. If we don't do this, when we turn it right side out, the bear will have some puckers. So we need to clip it and put some ease into the fabric and the fur. As you can see, I've made some clips and some people at this point can put their holes into the body where the joints are going to be, but I like to pull it right side out first and just to look at it. And then when we're ready to attach the legs and the arms, I will put the holes in from the inside going out. So we're going to turn it right side out. Again, I use this tool to gently push on here. We don't want to make any holes in the lining or push through what we've stitched. We just want to gently turn it out. And here's the body. This is the top.